Good afternoon and welcome back to the vlog. Uh, it is Wednesday today. It's pretty crappy outside. I mean, it's been raining on and off all day. So part one of the vlog today is actually an unboxing. My winter wheels rocked up. So I'm going to get those out of the box and show everyone what they like. Um, see what the... Yeah, how Pro Bike Kit goes, I guess. That's one of my first orders through them. And then tonight will be a trainer session on Zwift, hopefully. Or just the kicker with some power numbers and I'll video that for the vlog. So, yeah, jump into the unboxing. Booties for winter. Oh, they come with pads. and smooth so these wheels are the Cicero 35 mil which is basically the Fulcrum Racing Quattros um, just the Campag sticker version and I kind of like the Campag sticker version because I can take the stickers off and make them blank if I want to uh, and they look kind of cool with Campag on it so these are going to be my winter wheel set um, yeah they're pretty mad I mean look at that Braking service is pretty good. Just need to get some decent tyres now. It's weird. There's no real loud ticking. So it's silent, silent wheel, boy, that's nice to have. Feels like a fair bit of, uh, fair bit of resistance. I mean, I'm used to the Campag borers, so they're kind of like really loud. Then there's this. Yeah, it's pretty quiet. I mean, in there you can see there's like a seal, which makes it very quiet to spin. I'm not sure if that's normal, or I'm not sure if that's supposed to be like that. Oh, sorry. But they they spin pretty well. Like they're nice. They look pretty good too. I mean, Campag's always looks good. But the bearing's pretty nice. They spin well. Nice and smooth. Half decent skewers. Quick release instructions, that's quite obvious. Some uh, instructions about the wheels, and that's it. How to use a quick release. I think that's pretty obvious. Nothing about a seal, so good take off. So they must just run really quiet. Toe thingies. Ta da! These things are going to be amazing. Just to keep the toes warm when riding but not a full booty and they don't require you to actually put the whole thing on the whole booty thing on which I don't like so that was all that was in the box that's all I ordered wait until I ride them I guess I got a classic ride actually this weekend which I'll use them I've got a in the Whittlesey Classic 110 k's I think a couple of climbs I might even put them on the Bianchi and give them a test uh, on the Bianchi in the hills. So overall, pretty happy, but I can't really say until I take them out on the road. Um, but can't wait until I get the tow things out. They're not, not that heavy. I mean, they're, I think, 100 grams lighter than my 60 mil carbons. And these are 35 mil alloys. So I'm not sure how that works, but 
I guess 60 mil worth of carbon is pretty heavy. I'm sure the carbons will run smoother. I'm sure uh, the Novatec hub will be better in the in the carbon. I'm sure, but uh, it'll be interesting to see how these things climb, how these things break. Uh, braking performance. I mean, it was wet the other night on your oh, well two days ago the vlog. It was wet and I was on carbons and I don't like braking on wet and carbons. Carbon carbon wheels should only be used in summer, in my opinion. Good to see how these things work under braking and how they work climbing as well. I'm used to climbing on an Axiom wheel set. These will be a bit deeper than the Mavics. So it'll be interesting to see how these things go. I haven't climbed on my 60 mil, so I can't say they'll they'll climb better or they'll climb worse than my 60 mil carbon because I don't like descending on carbons because I tend to slam on the brakes pretty hard because I'm a heavier guy, so I heat up the rim more and I don't want to blow the rim out. So I guess I'll do a product review after Woodlesey Challenge this Sunday. But... Uh, now, heading over to later in the day, which will be trainer efforts on Zwift. It's about 10 past seven. Just jumped on the trainer. I feel like I'm getting a nasal cold or a head cold this afternoon. It's been really cold here in Melbourne and the weather's just changed. And when that happens, I normally get pretty sick or I get sick. So I thought I'd jump on the bike tonight, maybe for an hour or 40 minutes, see how I feel. I don't normally wear one of these for the trainer just because I sweat so much. But, change in temperature, I think it's probably a good idea. Not on Zwift tonight, just watching Gary V and some other YouTube videos. Headphones on. I've got my element paired to my kicker, so I can select the watts using that. I really like it, it's good, but I like using Zwift too, so I always mix up the two. But tonight it's just gonna be a cruisy roll out of the legs, maybe 200 watts or something. And yeah, just uh, smash that out as a training session. 20 minutes down, I just remembered why I don't like winter for cyclists. It's because I don't like trainers. And then I remembered why I signed up for Zwift, because it keeps your mind active. It's almost like a game. Remember why I got sick of Zwift? It's because you get sick of the tracks and then you start YouTube. It's just memories are flooding back at the moment of why, why I hate winter cycling, but that's all right. Even in the rain, I like getting out. It's just because it's so dark at night and early in the morning. If I don't have time during the day, this is the only option. Otherwise, I go out, even if it's raining or still dirty on the road, I mean, I know I'm trying to sell my CAD, but maybe I should just keep it as a winter bike. It'd be a pretty awesome winter bike. Change the setup so it's less racy. Maybe so it's not slammed as much. A bit more comfortable to ride. And uh, yeah, just thinking about that. It's nice to have two bikes. At the same time, you don't really need two if you got one of these beauties. All right, so 40 minutes in the bank. As you can see, I'm pretty sweaty. Not feeling too great, so I might not jump on the train tomorrow. Might just take it easy. Really not feeling good. See what the weather's like, I might get out. Side, I might not. Just depends if it's sunny or not. Also remembered why I don't like these nicks, because I get saddle sores on them. All around, pretty shitty day on the bike. Nice to have the wheels rock up. I'm just gonna change the uh, tires over. So put those on, lace those tires on for the weekend, um, the Whittlesey Classic. If I get out tomorrow, I'll make sure I take them out for a bit of a review slash, just wanna try them out really. On that note, thanks for watching. Um, if I get out tomorrow, I'll vlog. If not, it'll be because I'm sick and then I'll see you in the next couple of days on the bike.